Okay, Morella. Let's do this. It is your turn. You have advantage against the guy below you, uh, and he is bloodied. Yep. So again, swing. So twenty-four. Oh yeah. Wait, you did nine damage. Before. Wait, what? Advantage. Oh, oh it took it's, a while to come up. Yeah, it didn't pop up for us <laughs> at first. Yeah, nine oh. damage. Totally, you nailed him. No problem. He looks like another blow like that might take him down. All right. I'll ensure my survival and eh. All right. I will roll athletics. Nope. Yeah, definitely knocked him down. No problem. You have advantage on him again if you wish to attack him again. I do. Nice. And yep, that is that is enough. To I love this. I love this minimum damage that I'm doing. It's it's good stuff. But at least I killed the fucker, so I got that going for me. Keep cleaning up the map here a little bit. Right, fantastic yeah you you were able to slay him yeah would she say anything i think the others are fine so i don't know I don't others do you was. think you're fine um <laughs> i mean <laughs> gonna I'm go probably, with probably not i'm question <laughs> mark you right now like i'm doing great well you're I not think. the one that's getting well done. Yeah, so. Hannibal took the high ground. He's blinking around all over, all over the place. Yeah. Well, I'm about to roll. Let's see. What What are we rolling? She doesn't. Okay. Okay. Fantastic. All right. So it's the big it's the big rat's turn now. I'm gonna roll a saving throw for him because I want to determine whether or not he thinks this is a winning battle. Yeah, man. He's like, we got this. No problem. <laughs> we got this. No problem. Rat power. Rat power away. He just runs up. He charges. Oh, those humans. <laughs> he charges you again, Morella. Uh, and he is going to attack you twice with his spear. Uh huh. Wow. Wow. Nope. Ooh. Again, you're just able to deflect it. Does um, he still think that? Uh, yeah, technically. Uh, but now I'm going to roll wisdom save for the other guy that's still scared for some reason. He's still scared. He just he doesn't want anything to do with anything right now. It's a whole lot of fuck that. Yeah. He feels the fear of death. He does. Uh, which brings us that's to what's gonna Vi. Happen. It is your turn. Um, I'm just going to keep my crows going as long uh -huh. as I can. Yep. Um, I can back up, right? And not. You would take an attack can, of opportunity. Or just but, that one is you, diagonal. What you could do is you could disengage. Okay. Because it's not, like if you want to burn your action on it, you could disengage, yeah. and your crows are still active. Like you don't have to. Okay, cool. You don't have to spend an action point to keep them active. They're just up all the time, as long as you maintain concentration. Yeah, they continue their feast upon rat flesh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just bear in mind, I can't. Hold down all three of them as some could. Yeah, no, no, I'm not gonna move out of them out of that range. You but... could like you could move to the right or whatever to make more room for anything. You could also move happen, behind. But... You could literally move behind Farron. Mm -hmm. You could. Yep. For sure. Be behind the big stud of meat shield yep. that he is, and that that still reaches all three of them. All three yeah, of them are still within the range. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Perfect. disengage, move back, and that's all right. all right. Yeah. So you're just like. So what does it look like? Are you like just holding up your hands, like directing your crows as you like <laughs> yeah. duck out of the way? Uh huh. Also, and... don't to reroll. Um. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. If you want to reroll your damage for this round, uh, that's totally cool. Okay. Um, or if I... you want to do that on their turn, it's up to you. I'll do it on their turn. Okay, yeah, yeah. Cool. Awesome. Okay. Anything else for Vi besides that? No bonus actions? Nothing like that? Nope. That's it. All right. So we have some rats that are going to attack Mirella. Fucking uh, come at me, you pieces of shit. Okay. Ink. Yeah, fuck them. I was going to say, they're going to crit. <laughs> you saw that green number and you were scared momentarily. I'm not going to lie. I clenched a little bit. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, so the rats so. just, they can't, they can't get through your armor. Merle, you're starting to, like, actually get into, like, a fighting, because, like, you've been on the defensive the whole time, right? But now, you've been able to throw enough things off that you're fighting with, 
uh, aggression and are able to go on the offensive now. Which brings us to Mr. Arkady, Pet Mr. Arkady Petrov. It is your turn, sir. Um, all of these have yeah. taken some damage uh, from the crows. You could probably slay this really one. Did. Yep, that's, I mean, there's really not much else he can do. So yes, he will step up with Farron and uh, yeah. go to work. Slay him, slay him, you know, slay him. If... Oh my god. <laughs> I assume that kills it. Oh yeah, so, for sure. What I imagined in a previous life is that Arkady was secretly a, an assassin. And he has just staved away from that life. I enjoy how you said previous life. Uh, yeah, yep. I'm sorry. <laughs> Past tense, question mark? No. As a diplomat, he has to yep. be prepared for assassins against right. him. Yeah. So. Yeah. What better way to train than to learn to be one yourself? <laughs> um, so, Petra, probably what happens here is Vi is, like, this was the one that was engaging Vi. And as she, like, walks away, the crows, like, blind it for a moment. And you just come up underneath its chin, up through the top of its head with your rapier, and it just twitches and then falls limp, and you shove it off and slay it in that manner. And again, just in the Works extra, right. the board clear. Yeah, no, you just you kill the shit out of it. In fact, you could continue to move up if you wanted to. No, I'm okay with it. Them having to move to come to me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sure. Um, they are they're pretty laser focused right now, but Chester gonna shoot at this one right here um i don't think he's gonna snipe this round i think that he's just gonna he's i think it's more important for him right now to hit them than it is to deal massive amounts of damage because the damage is gonna happen anyway and that was a good that was a good choice that was that was a good that was a good choice um so let's see jesus that's a lot of fucking damage um yeah no that's that's enough to just again arrow flies takes this one in the throat, it gurgles and then collapses over clutching at its throat as it bleeds out onto the ground Farron this is, okay. this is way better than it was before it is actually yeah, yeah this is, it's surprisingly well um, this is the thing is as soon as you guys started like coalescing and using things it, it worked out pretty well for you it was the surprise factor that really fucked you here in the beginning yeah. Uh, so, I'm going to, uh... Hello? Hello! Hi! <laughs> hey, hey guys, I made it. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Very well done. How could yes. you? You've done good, pig. Now get in here. <laughs> I'm covered, I'm covered. I'm going to, uh, scream out, Am I coming? Am I coming? As I dart round and stab him. Uh, oh my god, you stabbed the shit out of him. I Absolutely. did. Uh, and you don't do quite as much damage as Arkady, though, so it doesn't kill him, but but yeah, true. absolutely. He people to aim, no one listens. He is, he is quite bloodied. Yeah, Holy but damn. shit. Again, Farron saying I'm coming yeah, up. Yeah, that's it. Farron, you just, you just stab it. You just, you quick, yeah. in succession, just through the heart, through the back of the neck, just the the rapier just blossoms out of its trachea and it collapses over clutching at its chest and neck simultaneously because you just crit twice oh, in a row the second part is. i did <laughs> yeah it's obviously Which is the neck. pretty damn good yeah that's that's incredible I've done good part uh, done by the way, by the Farron, i don't and this torch must be light that is attached to you by the way uh okay because the others... Oh, right. So you cast light on your own weapon. I forgot. You forgot about that. You cast light on your own weapon because nobody else was around you. <laughs> that okay. Yeah, sure. Yes. Fine. Um, so, yeah. And yeah. more healing. Oh, my God. There are all the spell slots. Morella, you gain nine more health. I assume that's who you're casting on, correct? Yes. Fantastic. You're such a good boy. <laughs> Animal. <laughs> is your How does this guy look? Uh, he looks pretty hurt. He's, Fuck it, he's yeah. definitely bloodied. We're using spells. <laughs> yes, you've missed a lot of critical hits, yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, you guys turned around this fight fairly uh, fairly rapidly. Oh, that's right. good to know. Alright, Jesus. Alright, I need to make yeah. a constitution saving throw. 
Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Uh, da, 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 and five damage. <laughs> oh, right, because I have. Um, <laughs> all right. Constitution saving throw. Wish me bad luck. Yeah. It does so, 47 damage. What does it? What does it look like when you blight this creature it looks, and it just explodes? Basically. I. Uh, uh, black smoke it seems to billow out from my sleeves and just surround this creature and in the shadow of the like you could see its faint outline and you could see it just start to desiccate into a mummy as it just crumbles into dust and it just crumbles into dust I just remembered what Hannibal's middle name is again and I'm increasingly concerned Huh? One may assume things. <laughs> Fantastic, yeah, Hannibal. You you did like twice m much damage as you needed to do to that thing. <laughs> so you know, yeah, I'm pretty content. Uh -huh. I move my hex over to this motherfucker. Yeah. To give him disadvantage on strike checks. So here's the great part. Um. Live. Right, we can just speed up this combat. Then. Yeah, so these guys are... are uh, They don't have a leader anymore. No, they have one. And they're... Well, they have one who's extremely scared and cowering in the back. And that's not really a leader. So, they... Um, are going to, like, disengage and attempt to run, but it's reasonable to assume the group of you could literally just kill these people. I assume that you just slaughter these people as they try and run Like you. wolves upon innocent No life. interest in mercy. Right, yeah. So they just try and, like, they're trying to disengage, but you just shoot them and kill them, and they're all dead. Uh, mm -hmm. The rats eventually get decimated. Um, and, yeah, that's, that's basically uh, how it goes. And I think that with that, we can be out of combat. You guys have successfully defeated the Skaven. Morella, are you okay? Yeah, you see her awake. She's... The only word I can fucking describe Morella, like the state that she's in, is that she's covered in complete rat guts and blood. <laughs> and probably a mix of her own from multiple wounds as she just, like, she, like, breathes heavy a little bit and she's like, I'm fine. Well, what about the others? Yeah. You okay. have look of queen about you. <laughs> it's a good thing my hair my hair is red. Otherwise it'd be stained. It was okay. a joke. Also the tenso, eh, Marella? Um Farron, roll a perception check for me. Okay. You are currently dying. Yeah, so you see this thing down here, Farron? A 10 is enough. I just wanted to make sure you could see the thing. You see okay. this thing down here? Yes. It appears to be a nest, and you can tell just like in the faint outline, it appears to be like kind of writhing and moving. Uh, hey guys, uh, I think we should deal with this nest before we... Uh, Actually, have a rest. Yeah, so, so fire, yes. Throw fire at it. <laughs> yeah, and I think like as you approach, you see, uh, like kind of poking its head out from it. You see that there is a there's a rat. Oh, just blast! <laughs> pew, 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 pew. Yeah, so you just blast it, and it dies, and the mass kind of. You hear, like, shrieking and squeaking coming from inside of it. Um, and it's, like, kicking over an anthill, right? Like, it's starting to, like, writhe oh, and, no. and turn. Very great. Sink it fire. Throw the torch. <laughs> um, actually, yeah. I think it was actually a torch, because, Marilla, don't you have the light on your weapon now, actually? Yeah, you do. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it actually was a torch, Farron, if you wanted to throw it at the, the thing. <coughs> I'm totally going to throw it. Yeah, for sure. Next. For sure. Whole Aragorn style. Throw it in the face of it. Yep. Use it. And and very, very easily, it begins to ignite in flame. 
and it is now burning. And you hear just a cacophony of squeaks and shrieks coming from inside of it. Um, the smell of burning, like, rat shit and rat flesh and, like, the debris that's inside of it um, is just, like, just goes up and this acrid smoke kind of fills, like, the tunnel. Um, but you notice it doesn't, like, sit in the tunnel. Um, and as, as the smoke rises you see that it's exiting via, like, um, these holes in the ceiling. Um, some of them are probably big enough for you to get into and, like, crawl, like, on your belly, but most of them are small and, you know, it, it's only really suitable for perhaps rats or other small animal-like creatures. Um, and I think that's probably the point you realize that, like, you do you do a body count, right? Like, you, you count up all the bodies and you realize that one of those clan rat guys the one that was afraid is no is not here and you didn't see him that's to be expected he believes yeah. that to have gotten away by the way it's free action just in case anyone was curious like yeah you guys can move so, you want. can I so, start looking over the clan rats bodies uh yeah what are you looking for specifically uh anything uh, Interesting. Yeah, I mean, there is quite a bit of... Uh, they, they have loot on them. Um, they were using, like, these these light spears, which, um, if anyone is curious about what a light spear is, it's a weapon that I've invented, which basically it's a spear, but it uses dexterity instead of strength, because it's dumb that all spears use strength. Um, so it's basically a spear with finesse. Same as me, it's simple. Does that mean that they can be thrown as well? Uh, all spears with can finesse. be thrown. Um, with no, finesse, no, I mean. that would that would that would require strength still to throw it. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I get I get where you're going. What there. about um, what about gold? Not not unless you put it in a there, bow. There is some. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> there is some gold here. Yes. Uh, absolutely. I'll take it. I'm low on funds. Um. Yeah. So out of the three, um, the the little rats, um, the the little like mouse. I'm gonna call them mice because they're more they're they're as you look at them they're more akin to mice than they are to rats they're kind of like the runt of the litter right like they're clearly not the same of the, have the same gene pool as the the bigger ones but the bigger ones have some money on them um, and probably a total of like probably a total of that. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take just like five gold from that. Yeah, you guys can divide it up as you see fit. Um, so yeah, I'll take five gold. And by the way, Farron, uh, just so you know, last week I did add gold and silver and copper to your um, to your funds, so you have a little okay. bit extra now. Thank you. Yeah. When I take that, I want to start heading back up here to see that we aren't being ambushed. <laughs> right. And so the three of you that are up top here, what are what are you guys doing? Like, excuse me. While Pardon this me. is going on, Pardon me. I think that Vi would have quietly walked over to Chester and just made a comment, passing comment, like, "Don't think I didn't see you try to run away." By the way, you didn't run away, Chester. Hey, Brian, you there, buddy? Brian. He doesn't comment and we move on. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. I think he just doesn't comment, right? That's that's his that's his standard. Push your talk, Brian. Um any hoozle. Yes. And or So Hannibal, microphone. it appears that there is nothing like headed your direction. Um roll a perception check when you're up there. Should uh Dane do it as well? Sure. If he's with me, yeah. Okay, first, this is Hannibal's. I sh nope. shit at perception, but here is Dane's. Dane is far uh, better at perception. Yeah, he's my perception bitch. Oh, hold on. Yeah, you don't hear anything coming down, uh, and Dane doesn't report anything that appears to be coming down. There's still, like, that, um, like, the sound of, like, 
very lightly running water coming from this pool over here. But uh, <laughs> it's it's not dripping. Don't worry, Megan. Um, <laughs> yeah, you see, you hear the sound of like running water coming from this pool over here. Um, Wait, hold on. That's still pools running. Yeah. So there's like um, it's it's like a pool that's formed from an underground river. You guys determined this uh, kind of last time. So, like, you can hear the sound of, like, water, like, kind of moving and, like, a gurgle every now and then as it, like, rises so into this the pool is like and then a, out of it. So, this is, like, an opening at the top. The, the water's flowing underneath. Correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. In that case, I'd like to head back down. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, the group of you, what are you... What's, what's the conversation? Also, you guys notice, and I'm not even going to make a roll for it, but this right here is... Clearly, yep. villager remains. Yeah. That'll happen. Yeah. Uh, based on a rough estimate, how many sets would it be if I like took the time to count? Uh, like how many villagers are here? Yeah, roughly. Uh, roll me an investigation check. Fucking my strong suit. Here we go, boys. We got this. I'm ready. Oh, all right. That's actually not that bad. Maybe like, maybe like half a village is worth. Numbers are hard. The unless you spent hours and hours like sorting out femur bones and skulls, like you would never know. But eh. jigsaw these people back together. Right. Hard. Like like <laughs> may, maybe fifteen ish. Maybe half a village. Maybe a quarter of a village, depending on the size of the village. Like. Eh, it's it's hard to tell. <coughs> yeah. All right. Uh, but after she roughly counts, mm -hmm. she looks over at Farron. And how does Farron look at the moment? <laughs> yeah, that's what Arkady wants to check out because I saw that he got bitten pretty viciously. Uh huh. By a foaming rat. <laughs> this is nothing. You've seen me get beaten much more than this. Yes, for example, I've seen great gaping hole implode in your chest, but uh, this is rat bite. Skaven, this is not clean. Yes, Skaven tend to carry diseases in their mouth, much like a Komodo dragon. Or a human. <laughs> That's actually true. <laughs> I think Vi would step up and say, let me see it. Have you ever heard of herpes? Also, would you be willing to sign off on an experiment? I've never, te I've never tested a Skaven victim before. <laughs> Marla just looks at you. <laughs> Wait. I have learned. In my perhaps victim I don't is not trauma. ideal term here. Yes, that system has reminded me. I do not have much time on this earth. We just remember um, uh, lat previous experiments. Which was uh, a success. I proved the volatility of the substance. <laughs> just not in the, the manner house, that you wished it. Uh -huh. Yeah, just that the house got in the way. That's what happened. Uh -huh. The house got in the way. So I had to get yeah, rid of it. Jumped out at you, so Vi, you're going to take a look at <laughs> Farron's, uh, Farron's wounds? Because like... I know we all know that the rat was the one that did it, but all of the rats were biting and clawing him, right? Like The fact that you actually have that spell. Yeah. <laughs> cool. So you cast Detect Poison and Disease, and yeah, uh, you can tell 30 feet, huh? I have to do some counting. Hold on. <laughs> Her senses just light up in all directions. <laughs> it's literally the Witcher sense, but it's just all red. Everything's <laughs> red. <is> yeah. Like, <laughs> so, that is um, stupidly useful for a place like this. Yes, it is, because it also lasts 10 minutes. Um, so, Vi, uh, is this within 30 feet? No. But I mean, like, you would have sensibly. I would be, be like see. walking yeah. around and, like, right. yeah. So. This is where you find out that the giant rats, the big rats, and then all the tiny little rats, not the actual Skaven, are all, like, flashing disease. And there is a bite on Farron's calf that appears to have some form of disease on it. Um, it however... I can identify the kind? No. But 
it appears to be um, like a form of like there's something off about it. But since it says you can identify the kind, I will give you like what it's based in. Um, it's very similar to uh, sewer plague. Sewer plague is a disease which basically um, s it saps your energy. Um, it uh, it essentially just like wears someone's like immune system down like tremendously, and then usually it's sewer plague isn't the thing that kills you. It's the other diseases or other effects that kill you from sewer plague. So aid. Basically, but um, this <laughs> is, this is not exactly that. Yeah, something is something is not exactly uh, sewer plague, but that's a close representation of what you're looking at. Does she say that out loud that it's like it, but it's strange? Yeah. So I would... Look, important question is: Do we douse in vodka? Do we burn or do we amputate? Well, it's not too shocking that the disease might be a little bit different. Skaven are known for manipulation. So this might be a more potent form. Or it might just be modified by Skaven in some way. So, he is sick? Totally. He's got them diseases. Yeah, and should be noted, Farron, you feel fine. That's yeah. the first step. Then your penis falls off. Yeah. Um, Morella <laughs> just, just like says, <laughs> like looks over and just shakes her head, and she's like, "Farron, I need you to kneel down." <laughs> Honestly, it's really the time. <laughs> she yeah. looks at you, uh, Petrov, with a cold, dead stare. And she says, yes. <laughs> <coughs> so do you do it? Um, okay. You are still the lady. Yeah, and, like, she, like, walks close to you. And then, like, grabs hold of your, like, your head, like, the side of your head. Like, the head. And then leans in to kiss your forehead. And you feel a warmth. Uh, wash over you. <laughs> Lay on hands. Yeah. Essentially, she mutters a small prayer before uh, kissing your forehead, uh, which can only uh, in common. So I think at this point uh, we hear yes, lol, and <laughs> lay on lips, <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, she is going to spend oh, five of her lay on hand points. Actually, you're going to remove uh, a cure. disease from him. Yes, but let's let's be honest. Morella doesn't know that she can do this. She just thinks that right. with the sure. power of her god, sure. she can. Um, Vi, you still have detect poison disease running, right? I mean, it's been so, good for a while. <laughs> so you notice um, the diseased wound on Farron? vanishes but um hannibal said he picked up that gold right mm -hmm. um from both hannibal and farron their packs you're getting a faint tingle of something um disease based but it's like whatever it is is inside of their packs I think Vi would go invisible and then um, slide on her gloves and just sure. very delicately go through their packs while they're standing there and take the yeah. coin from them. So it's both of their both of their coin purses, all of the all of the gold and silver and copper in both of their coin yeah, purses. Yeah, I would take all the things, all of the disease things. <laughs> the whole coin purse is infected with disease. Okay, uh, do I get a chance to notice this? You can roll a perception check, base, uh, but it's going to be a disadvantage. Um, because okay, she's Puck, and I'll, I'll say Dane is not on okay. lookout for this. Sure. Nope. Damn, by the way, how do you guys like my picture? Uh, it's great. Um, Derpasaurus, sure. So yeah, so both of their coin purses appear to ha ha be diseased. It seems like the coins inside of them. 
Yeah, I, you know, remove them from their packs and then walk over and just toss it back into the nest. Okay, so like the the burning nest, you just toss yep. the coin mm-hmm. back in there? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So I now have zero. Yeah, none of you have any gold or silver or copper. Fair, and we're broke buddies. Um... If I, um, I know this is your doing, but what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, where's my money? You get no response. <laughs> you don't even see where she is. <laughs> yep. And, uh, zero. If I don't zero. get an explanation, someone zero. owes me money. And I'll take that in oh, the form good. of an alchemical set. Oh, good. back. Yes, I'll take I'll take repayment in the form of an alchemical set. I have more experiments I'd like to run. Oh, what would you like to blow up now? A house, fort? I, I was thinking a kingdom. She just looks at you with like, that's not a. Funny Don't joke. worry, it's Bretonia. It's still not a funny joke. It's not a funny joke. Um. So, what do you what do you do? What what is the first next off, step for the group of you? First off, I would think we should get out of here. Specifically, this room. Okay. Because I don't like the thought of there being one way into this room. For us, anyways. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's multiple ways for them to get in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rather just nod and says, "Let's go then. Yeah, Let's find a safe spot. Best place to. And I would like to press, but it nest. seems that, and she kind of looks at maybe like Vi and Farron because like she notices that Vi is not like super bloody, but she's got some, maybe like a wound or two, and is not happy knowing that the others are injured, besides her. A place." Like this would probably be best to. I mean, if it was Hannibal, she wouldn't care. But yeah, uh, Hannibal is fine with anything. Well, it's more of the fact that Merle actually knows that Hannibal can take care of himself. So, so is the plan? You guys are going to leave? Uh, no, I don't mean to leave. I mean stay in here and rest. So you guys want to like barricade this room and rest in there? Yes. I mean. We don't need to barricade anything. Yeah, or just like rest out here. Party. Okay. A long so rest, we're going preferably, to but rest short rest. For a while. Also, where was the like small there. one? Uh, Liam? Sorry. Uh, yes, okay. I've been left in the dark. Where is everybody? They, they all left. Yeah. It's fine. There. I've, I've saved you. Yep. Whee! Oh, there you are. Petra. <laughs> yeah, he's just small. That's all it is. So yep. what approximate time would it be? Yeah, so it's late. Oh, as you know, shit. like an hour. Um but it's it's late. Like it's late now. Okay, that's After good. Yeah. all of this that happened, it was already getting to nighttime. So like maybe the group of you like maybe someone yawns and you're like, ah oh, crap, it's like really late. Um But it's it's getting towards the dead of night outside. Okay. I don't think it's a good idea to sleep here. I July, know. But... Just stand by me. You'll be okay. Come on. All right, all Over right. here. All he is. Fine. I hug Far- Farron. Yeah. Farron. Oh, hey, Chester's back. Brian. <gasps> Boom. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. So let's make you a hut. Oh, uh, sweet. So we are going to take a long rest. Yeah, so Farron, tell us tell us all about this, man. You, you've you never used this before, to my knowledge. No, we've been in cities for however Let it be hard. known, no one's ever used a spell in any of the games I've played. Yeah. <laughs> we used it once. It's a great spell, man. It was, um... It's an amazing spell. Who was it? Um, Milo had it. Did it? Did he? Yeah. He used it like it was like the last spell he used outside the tower. Yeah, uh, I only just. Okay, well he doesn't count because he's still the same person. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you just 
You plop it down right here? Uh, I do indeed. Yo, that's some fucking creepy ass <laughs> shit right there. That is awesome! Okay, I rescind my creepy. s'mores plan. I'm not cooking them over skulls. <laughs> Jesus, I mean, if, what even is that? <laughs> if you wanted a different one, if you wanted a different one here, I can give you. I can give I mean, you this that's one. Pretty badass. No, is that's why. That that's more awesome. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> like, what is this? Why can't you just get a normal hut picture? <laughs> no, fine. Saren, is this some kind of goth phase? <laughs> let's stay in this yeah this is horror. my emo phase obviously. yeah mm -hmm. From... <laughs> you see a bad haircut now and yeah there. Start posting why am I above it, it. <laughs> uh, everybody's gonna be above it um, yep. it's just showing the distance like where are you guys so what does it look like to you like I put that image there but what what is what is your Leoman's tiny hut look like um so as Farron does, he obviously starts playing his tune and the magic just kind of becomes visible and you can see it kind of swirling around us in a kind of helix uh, spiral that just ends up enveloping all of us. Cool. Yeah. And so now you're inside of this and I assume that you make all of your party members able to pass through at will um, pretty fairly easily, right? Yes. Um, yes. I mean, yes, you can. I can't, otherwise it'll get disenchanted. But right, you can, but you can choose up to nine people. Um, yes, I. To move. Anyone through. can go in and out of this as they please. Right, except for you. Um, yep. Cool. And others can't come in. Right. So is the plan to like use this for the full eight hours of rest and just like be protected inside of your little hut? I'm fine with that. I want that. I mean, it's pretty useful thing to do. It, it is. It lasts for eight hours. Well, we could. If we wanted to. I th I changed my mind. If we have something like this, I don't feel too bad about camping the night here. There's always so much they can do against this. Agreed. I am totally Ah, yes. Okay there's only so much here. that's Skaven that somehow are... But yes, it's Skaven. Yes. Worst just, case scenario, the they... Worst case scenario, they... Uh, surround us and then we fight our way out again. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, that's that's just the worst case scenario. No big deal. Yeah. I mean, we're not going to get lynched in our sleep, so... Also, real quick, uh, are people able to see this hut? It is visible, yes. Um, um, or, yeah. it, I think it can be whatever he wants it to be. He can make it invisible, um, or transparent or translucent, or he can make it look whatever he, whatever he wants it to look like, I would say. Yeah, okay. I think the actual ruling, it's uh, translucent. Yeah, uh, I think like you can see in and out in. of it, right? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, the plan is taking a long rest here. Yes. Fantastic. Oh, the dome is opaque. Um, uh, opaque, there you go. So you can't see in and out of it. I mean, that's... Hey, we get a long rest, so let's burn all my healing spells. Ah, uh, oh, shit. Yeah, okay. Yeah, sure. Go for it. <laughs> so if you're planning on resting, you're going to go around and, and begin to heal people, Farron? Yes. Okay. Sure. Uh, so, Marilla? I mean, I got hit dice, so... So does everyone. Yeah, but the spell... Uh, yeah, I think he, I think his his goal is here, the spells come back. To burn all the spells that he can. And then we'll recover <laughs> as it. long as you get the long rest, right? Like, that's always the danger. Yes, but... I There's nothing you can do to stop to us, Jordan. how you can get through here. See, I'm... we're at least gonna get a short rest, so I got that going for me. So, sure. We're just gonna wake up to use uh, his second wind. Mm -hmm. uh, Sounds good. Um, Who is yeah. that for? Heal away, that people. me. Vi, you get seven. It was the second heal for. Here you go. The second heal was for uh, me. For Farron. Um. Yeah, I'll keep one in reserve. Should you mess things up entirely. <laughs> I right. feel hated. Is everybody like good with all their pre-rest? Uh, yeah. Conundrums. Awesome. So what's the um? So obviously. It's going to stay for eight hours. I assume that there's going to be a watch. Even with your awesome little hut here. Yeah, we could see outside of it from what I read the description. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
But I assume you're going to set a watch, so, or are you not? Are you all just going to go to sleep? Or what? Yeah. So it's it, it's people can creatures cannot see in, but you can see out of it. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Or is it so? So yeah. Is there is there a watch order, or is everybody going to just rest? I assume we still do a usual watch order. I'll take the first watch. I've forgotten completely what the usual watch order was because you guys decided to spend. I was just gonna say, do we was... have a watch order? Or what? It was... Since um, when? Uh... <laughs> I don't recall this at I all. I think that we made it so that anybody that didn't have dark vision yeah. was paired up with somebody who did. With someone who did. Yep. Yeah, that's that's. So, I oh, that I sort of remember. Oh, okay, so sure. I think it might have been me and Morella. Yeah. And um, and somebody was with Aaron and Petrov. Yeah. And then. Vi. What do you hold, Chester and Vi? It's <laughs> like the pairs once more. <laughs> cool. Or oh, awesome. we can mix and match the pairs. So... Yeah, because that always fucking works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, hey, I got to join on a very fun buddy cop adventure of stealing. <laughs> it's true, you did. Um, so the group of you beds down to rest. Um, what is what is the mindset mm -hmm. of everyone? Like, this seems. Um, it seems as though the Skaven here are obviously well entrenched. Like, can I have actually Dane not be in here? Yeah, Dane can pass freely in and out if he wants. Yeah, I want him basically over here. Sure. And keeping an eye in case anybody comes. Sure. He needs sleep too, but yeah. Oh, he does? Oh shit, then never mind. Yeah, he'll he's, stay with he's me. He's a living, breathing creature. Is he? I you know you don't treat him that way. Yeah, I do not just see a him that way. He is nothing to me. Yep. I thought he was a puppet. <laughs> nothing more. Um, he is a puppet. Yeah, so it's pretty clear that like, this to be a real are fairly boy. entrenched here, and it's also pretty clear, like, you guys haven't really explored, like, the depths of what's going on here, and everything's a little weird. Um, mm -hmm. The Skaven are numerous. Um, it's probably good that you all are experienced, hardened adventurers, and they didn't send a typical patrol in this area, right? Like, that's... Typical patrol would have been captured and turned into bone pile uh, by now, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, in so far, what you guys have seen have not been anything crazy when it comes to Skaven. So, what Hannibal said 100% is true about Skaven. Like, there are certain, certain clans... Um, in particular, and Arkady, you know this, because Clan Mulder is the clan you deal with the most. Um, the Clan Mulder Skaven are super into, like, uh, like genetic modification via magic and warp stone and, like, you know, making their rat ogres, like, super big and buff or, like... Um, the Skaven also, again, as I mentioned before, are, like, super technologically advanced. And that's not what you've seen here, right? Like... None of these creatures have had, like, advanced technology or, you know, weird warp stone stuff going on. Like, none of that is... It, they seem almost feral, like, almost on the feral end. Or at least from perhaps maybe a clan that's not as well established in the realm of things. It would be comforting if I had any idea so, what it meant. So, like, basically, what from would I be able to infer the same thing? Yeah. Was it these... Or could I make the assumption that... um. This might be a fledgling clan trying to gain a foothold. That is, that's a good assumption. Yeah, you can make whatever assumption you want, but that's a good one. Uh, can I just share that with the group then? That just based on like what we've seen, this is probably a newer group that's trying to gain a foothold. I'm yeah. trying to remember the uh, which things we actually suspected versus which things I've been fearing for months. So when we were originally sent here, we were just told there's been Skaven activity, and we don't know why. Yeah, the, yep. there was reports of Skaven activity and reports that were coming from this city, this village. Um, and upon your arrival, you realize the village was completely decimated and, like, the Skaven had taken over. Um, but there was not a whole lot of information on who was doing it. Like, obviously Skaven, but Skaven have their own internal politics and their own internal things that they do. In fact, um, there, are, there have been famous, you know, Skaven clans that have assaulted, like, major settlements and stuff like that. But, again, what Hannibal suspects is is pretty good. Like, establishing a foothold is probably 
a good assumption. Um, or there are also known to be feral clans of Skaven. Like, there, there's totally clans of Skaven that simply kill things and murder things, and, you know, that's just all they do. Try to appease the horned one. They are the mur murder hosts of the Skaven. Yeah, exactly. Trying to appease the great horned one. Mm -hmm. I have plans. I'm so excited. But Marla just simply like as like you telling all of this uh to us, uh Hannibal. She just says, Well they will no longer get this foothold that they wished. Not while I still breathe. Yeah, I am less concerned about scale and numbers, I'm more concerned about uh, changes in diseases. Yeah, that does seem weird. Um that that shows a bit more aptitude than just it's simple doesn't, feral skaven. It doesn't match what we've seen from their behavior. They had the if they had the resources to do, do this, they then they're acting strange. There might be somebody another clan involved in this. You are suggesting they are carriers. Possibly. Oh wonderful, we are thinking same. It's not. It, well, I would notice too that it's unusual for the thought of clans to be working together. Because yeah, it may not be voluntary. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, like it. For one thing, these guys just might be guinea pigs. They also, like, has Vi told us about the poisoned gold? <laughs> That's a great question. <laughs> Um, That's an important detail. I think that she would make mention that um, when she was observing um, Farron's wound, she would have also have mentioned like the other things, kind of like that they had come into contact with in the room, also seemed to carry it, but not obviously specifically mention the stuff that you all had picked up. But did you say, <laughs> yeah, would and... you say that gold specifically, or like their weapons, or something like that? Um, I would have mentioned like themselves, their weapons, whatever they came into contact with. So yeah. So hopefully you would have inferred. So <laughs> such uh, a yeah, thing. what that basically means is that this isn't just a matter of like they are carried. This is they wanted to infect us. They wanted. They came with the assumption that right. some of them would die or that this wouldn't work. And they wanted us to take their stuff with them so that we would eventually become infected. Right, and specific to note, since Farron, you weren't here last week, you didn't pick up any gold in this previous in this room. You picked up gold from the creatures outside. So, yes, they were obviously expecting us to come down here and fight them, and they were expecting to most likely lose. Because there wouldn't be much of a point in... Would I know if Skaven were resistant to disease? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, so then, yeah, that Skaven goes Skaven are thing notoriously out. resistant to poison and disease. So, like, Everyone it would just would be like that. they came with they came with a pretty good assumption that they would probably die, which is unusual again. But this is probably more the you know burn the land so that nobody may use them kind of strategy. So, the Skaven clan develops new disease. Gives to their own people or exiles or prisoners, places contagion in currency, and then sends to surface so that they may be slaughtered. Problem is solved, and disease is spread by victorious uh, raiders such as ourselves. Yes. Yep. So, first thought is uh, we burn everything. Second thought is, this may not be only clan. Mm. If they wish to spread disease as far as they may, then a uh, single group sent to the surface with bag of gold is unambitious. It is strange that we didn't encounter more resistance. Well, if we are expected to win, then this makes sense, but uh, I suppose my concern is we do not know where else in Empire there may be skaven with poisoned gold. 
That is true. Money changes hands so many times that it could, if stuff like this got out, it could be potentially disastrous. And uh, Lady Morelli, you were able to cure with uh, whatever thing you did with Farron. She just simply looks over at Farron and, and then looks back at you, Petrov. Oh, it actually worked. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, who knows, right? Like, well, maybe. I know. I know 100% that it works. <laughs> you right, shared yeah, the, that fact, the, the, right? Yep. Yeah. Right, yeah. Uh huh. So, so uh, unless we I didn't church. tell us that. So we inform churches they can uh, continue similar practices, yes? I suppose, yes. But Basically, my faith is to strong. disinfect every single coin in the Empire. How long could it take? Two weeks, stops. Well, I do not know whether others can do what I have done faith that I follow is different than most. Ah, is uh, interesting. I had assumed you were a champion of Sigmar, no? Sigmar was just a man, nothing more. A false idol. You really, uh, I mean, this is not the say that in, public <laughs> in public, but still, a slightly more hesitation before sharing feelings is Ideal. Uh, we were approach. we were helped by the Church of Sigmar, so it might not be a great idea to let these uh, thoughts become. Don't tell other people. <laughs> she nods. She's like, I understand this full well. Again, I just share these thoughts because you, of all people, are the ones close to me. Duh. And uh, I suppose this requires us to now ask. Uh, what is phrase elephant in the room? And he looks to Vi now. That's right. Where's my gold? Uh, no. Hannibal is not. No. I kind of just started, ignores him. Like, <laughs> if, I, if my arms were normal length, then it'd be something <laughs> along, lines, along the lines of Petra just puts his hand on. Hannibal's face and pushes him away to arms like no. yeah he does the shh <laughs> yeah he gives him a mask no more words on their dreams <laughs> so why uh, I am aware you value your secrets but uh, over the last few weeks the uh, the tricks you pull have become more and more relevant to our continued not dying. Petrov, are you saying I'm actually going to be a useful member of this group? I never thought that I'd hear you say such a thing. Don't get off subject. I want to know how it is you do the things you do. What do you mean? <laughs> She's like me. I don't know what that means either. I am a priest. But Wait, <laughs> would I be able to avoid the fact that uh, her magic is divine. There's not really a whole lot of, like, ability to tell the difference. Unless you have detect magic. <laughs> and then they would tell you that when she's actually casting something. But I'm about yeah. to! Um, she would actually have to be casting something. But, like, yeah, people can do tricks, and sometimes they're mental abilities, or sometimes they're developed abilities, or sometimes they're mm -hmm. granted powers by their deities. Um, the oh, difference between diseases. arcane... Yeah, the difference between arcane and... Uh, divine magic is um, I'm not going to say it's arbitrary but it's something that is not easily detectable nor discernible distinguishable yeah it's hard to tell just from watching somebody cast a spell if it's divine or and I mean Arkady wouldn't really know the difference anyway right He's Arkady well Arkady... versed in magic he just wants to know what is up with Vi who he always considered to be basically a really good trickster and she, he's steadily seeing her perform more and more outright miracles. Right. Well, I think when I think when um, Hannibal said, "Oh, she's like me," I, Vi would look at you and be like, I, "I am nothing like him." Let me make that very clear. Uh, don't um, worry, I did not believe him. <laughs> I smiled and says, "Yes, I 
I'm sure. Uh, and then she would just say, I think that um, I've made mention of, of my, and she kind of just looks up and says, God, before, ha have I not? Hey, you may have left out important details. Oh, yes, I tend to do that sometimes. Yeah, but you, uh, you tend to do that. <laughs> Let's just say just I... Just to be the highest yeah, level than your previous name. Yeah, but I think that I'd look back from Chester and just say, yes, it seems that my, uh, my god has chosen um, to imbue me with some more powers as of late. I guess I'm just very lucky. You are not going to be helpful unless you are in life for this situation, are you? I mean, she shrugs. <laughs> well, it just kind of chimes in. We're always going to be in that situation. As long as you're with me. This is, broader speaking, life and death situation for Empire and Peace Live alike. We need to understand exactly what the assets we have on hand to not prevent potential plague outbreak across the entire continent. Well, so, all we have to do is just contain it. Or purge it. Yes, and our capacity to do so is dependent on understanding uh, exactly how it is that is being purged. I do not uh, see why we need to know whether or not what all of us can do, so long as we can do it. I don't know what we can do. I think that some of us have secrets that we'd rather not tell. Uh, at that, Vi looks at you. You can see her eyes go down to your chest and then look back up at you and, like, give you a wink. Arkari just sighs. Le uh, may I remind everybody here that is eh, less than a month since we, he gestures at everybody inside the tent, stood before a team of Inquisitors and covered up a, let's see, points at uh, Hannibal. Theft. Arson pants at, points at Chester. Murder points at Vi. Your entire existence, really. <laughs> <laughs> she smiles at that. It's impressive. <laughs> Man, I feel like we've really bonded over this time together. So, that reminds me. Please uh, consider have mercy and simply tell me exactly what it is that you're doing. You require me to share secrets first? I'm not sure what I have, but uh, if if it will make you comfortable, ask away. I mean, I think you've begged enough for some information. I have no reason to keep it from you, I guess. Mercy <laughs> of God. <laughs> yes, exactly. God indeed. Uh, and I think that Vi would just say, to be fair, I don't really know that I know much of what happens. It just seems that I, you know, get messages, get voices from my God, and he tells me when and what I should do. I imagine, and I kind of look over at Morella, she's experiencing something similar, no? I am his champion. Nothing more. And uh, whose champion is uh, this future empress? Jesus. Yeah, she like <laughs> grabs hold of like her necklace, uh, which has been like showing uh, uh, this entire time instead of like underneath like her armor and things like that. And uh, she just simply looks at you, uh, Petrov, and she's like, It's funny that you ask Petrov of all people, you would know him. What kind of uh, necklace is it? What does the necklace look like? It is a uh, golden necklace with a large uh, emerald pendant in the like, middle of it. Does it have any religious meaning? Can I? Would I be able to make a religion check to figure it out? You could. Yeah, sure. It's not the. It's not the. It's not the actual symbol, right? It's like a. It's your own version of the symbol. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it'd be hard, but you could make a religion check. Sure, I'll, I'll try. 
I mean, yeah, dude, you fucking crit it, so... Yeah, no, uh... <laughs> do, do you want to tell him as as the reveal? If you want, you can whisper or, it to me if you want. Or whisper it to him? Sure. No, because, I think he's about uh, to say it anyway, right? Yeah. 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 So, We're in a uh, tiny hut together. Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You guys are basically like <laughs> Indian-style <on>. holding <laughs> yeah. hands at this point. Whispering <laughs> isn't really a thing. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> what, <laughs> what you can deter as, well, <laughs> as I begin to tell this. Uh, Morella just says, as she says, you of all people should know him, Petrov. He is your people's god. And out of character, I've got to be honest here. I've not really been paying attention to Kim Yeah, so long. that's fine. You ready? Yeah. Do you want to say it or should uh, I? No, I think I, I should. This, right. This is your. This is your thing, bro. Yeah. So, uh, you would know Petrov that your people's god, the main one, is Urson, the father of bears and the patron god of Kislev. Well, his ranking of you for next empress has just gone way up. Right. Yeah. Interesting so. choice. Uh, I approve, obviously, but I, yeah, I will not bother you. So, is is good to know that. Uh, sorry, what's his, what what kind of monikers does he have apart from his name? Bear. Uh, Urson, he's the father of bears and the patron god of Kislev. Okay, father um, of bears. He's essentially he's the Sigmar of Kislev. Uh, bears. Yeah. <laughs> yep. uh, Sorry, I had to. It was just like right there. I yeah, couldn't. Well, yes. <laughs> I couldn't do it. <laughs> it was a glorious yeah, no, he's the Sigmar of Kislev, basically. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that. I just uh, uh, Petra his holy symbol. Names. I've determined uh, for Morella is a large bear claw, which is what Hannibal is. Uh, able to deter uh, within like a small outline of the pendant. It seems like if you weren't really looking at it, you wouldn't be able to tell like the difference. Uh, it seems like if you uh, notice, it would light up whenever she chants, such as spells Rubio, and or healing powers. Patrick well, Rubio, it's gratifying to know that uh, does, Father of Bears is yeah. capable of purging this plague. Is uh, bodes well for his life. Uh, I do not suppose that why you are in sharing mood? It, it just so happens I might be. We just killed a bunch of things. I feel pretty good about that. Why not? And I think that I had um, pulled out my necklace and the necklace is just an X. Nothing else. Man, I'm not gonna go fucking... Uh, would I be able to make a religion check to see? Yeah, if I would wait to see if anybody could guess yeah, sure. before she yeah, said yeah, anything. Yeah. That's, that's appropriate. Because that's, you know, what she does. Yeah, that's appropriate. Uh, I'm actually not good at religion. Hey, look at that. I mean, Fuck I think Hannibal a twenty's, uh, a 21 is going to be enough to probably guess it. Um, Hannibal, you recognize the symbol as... Um, so this god doesn't have a set symbol. Rather, he has a bunch of different ones based on where you are and how you how you perceive him. Um, but you recognize this one as being linked to Renald. I, I the what, god of nonviolent thieves and tricksters. When I see that, I go. I point. Go. Oh. <laughs> that gives you the wink. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, Renald is seen... Um, so Renald has a darker side, too. Uh, the cool thing about Renald is there is another god in the human lore um, called uh, um, Gundred. And Gundred is... Uh, a lot of people claim that Gundred is a different aspect of Renald because Gundred is the god of wrestlers, Im intimidation, and blackmail. Um... And they kind of they, they somewhat walk hand in hand. One is just violent and one is nonviolent. But a lot of people think it's kind of a Jekyll and Hyde thing where they're actually the same deity, um, but they speak to individuals in different ways. Hmm. So it's Ronald, isn't it? 
Yes, it is indeed. Good guess. Yeah, Fitting. I get cookies. <laughs> it's fitting for one such as you, Vi. It all makes sense now, doesn't it? Yes. Uh, and I think that uh, I think that um, with with that is an appropriate moment to kind of fade out um, for everybody. Like that's uh, you know everybody's sharing and and having all these revelations, and we're finally after eight months getting to know the members of the party um, while you're cramped inside this tiny little Leomun's hut. Um, yep. And it's a great place to uh, take our break. So who wants to get their hair mm-hmm. braided? I do! Can you paint my nails, please? <laughs> I want them to wanted... be pink. Uh, yep. I want mine to be hot blue. Well, Fantastic. Make me pretty. Secrets out, boy. Now you got something to blackmail me. So uh, let's let's be back at um, eight twenty Eastern Standard mm-hmm. Time in about about nine minutes. Sounds good. Cool. Gets me time for uh, some Jack and Coke. All right, stream. We're gonna take a quick little break. Hope y'all stay tuned. Uh, we'll be back in about nine minutes. I'm gonna turn on some music for you guys, and uh, see you in a few minutes. And we'll see if they can continue to explore this cavern. Uh, and hopefully not die. Thanks for watching.